Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve lead code problem 244 and 245, shortest word distance 2 and 3. This is a, a sequel of shortest word distance problem on the lead code. So the problem statement says that we have been given array of words as you can see here and we have been given two different words and we have to find out the minimum distance between those two words. So before we discuss our approach and implementation, I just want to mention that I often create lead code videos as well as Java Jitui interview related videos and I have created a you know, playlist for like a DFS, BFS solutions, binary search tree solutions and a lot of different problems on lead code uh, solutions. So please do subscribe to the channel, uh, you know, subscription will help uh, the channel so let's you know look the details of this problem so as you can see you will see the list of words here as you can see like coding practice max perfect coding and max right these are the six words which are given to us and which uh, we have been given two words coding and max so we have to find out the minimum distance between these two words right so distance means basically for example this is coding it's uh, called it's uh, index is 4 and max is index is 5 so distance between these two words is 5 minus 4 which is 1 so this is the absolute distance basically right so this is how distance is calculated so uh, how we are going to uh, solve this problem is we will have two approaches so we have two types of solutions to solve this problem so we will go one by one so first approach we are going to use a hash map uh, to solve the problem so what we are going to do is we will iterate the uh, array of words and whenever we find the word like uh, the coding and max so we find any of these words we will have a hash map of a string comma list of integers so we will capture the list of integers for coding right so for coding we will see coding appears at position 0 and coding appears at position 4 so we will add that 0 and 4 into our list and similarly for max max appear at 2 and max appear at position 5 so we will create a list 2 and 5 uh, using a hash map right for these two words and after we are done with uh, you know creations of the hash, hash map and we populated the hash map then what we will do is we will read this first uh, list actually for first word and for each of this index we will compare this with the second list index and we will find out the distance for example we will find out 0 and 2 so distance is 2 0 and 5 so distance is 5 5 at the same time we will keep track of the minimum distance we have seen so far so here we have seen the distance 2 right 0 and 2 is 2 0 and 5 is 5 so minimum distance is 2 now we will go to next index 4 now we will again calculate distance between 2 and 4 so the distance will be 2 so we will not do anything because our minimum distance is already 2 now we will compare this 4 and 5 so we uh, found the distance as 1 so we will update our minimum distance to 1 from 2 right because 1 is lesser than 2 so that's how we will find the minimum distance between two words so uh, let's look at the implementation of this um, uh, problem using hash map so as you can see uh, I just took the same words here uh, this array of words and we have a function where we are passing the words and we are given two words right so one word here we have been given is max and another is coding so let's look at the implementation for the shortest distance so first thing is we have defined and created a map here a hash map string and list of integers and we are iterating here through the array right array of words and whenever uh, for each word we check if the map does not contain that word we will just create a brand new link list and add that word to the list here and we will put that list into the map right for that word so we will put that uh, key value pair where key is the word and list is the value right if the list is already existing then in that case we will just get it from the map and we will add the index into the map into the list and then we will add the new uh, list into the map here right so at this point we already have have our map created right and 
after that we will just get the list one and list two and we just define one variable called as distance here we will iterate through list one and list two and we will keep track of the we will compare list two uh, distance with list one right list two minus list one we will get here and calculate the distance basically and keep track of the minimum distance so we have to uh, we also uh, will always check that distance should not be zero right distance should be minimum distance can be one right for two words so here we will keep updating the distance if by using math dot mean right so it will keep the minimum distance because of math dot mean and if we at all find a distance as one here then we will just break right so that is the implementation so let me just run this quickly and show you so as you can see first we created a map for coding which is 0 and 4 and for max it is 0 2 and 5 right so here i can show you uh, here i can show you so um, so here as you can see coding is 0 and 4 and max is 2 and 5 right so that's what we are finding it here uh, in our when we are running the program right so 0 and 4 and 2 and 5 so we will run the for loop after uh, the list is created so we will compare this 0 and 2 and 0 with 5 so we will keep track of the minimum distance so uh, 0 to 2 and 0 to 5 means minimum is uh, 2 only right and then we will take 4 next uh, next iteration 4 and 2 means minimum distance is still 2 and 4 and 5 means 5 minus 4 is 1 so that's how we find the minimum distance as 1 so this is one of the approach that we have so it's fairly straightforward um, approach where you know you just get the list and you compare the list these two lists uh, distances uh, so each index with uh, indexes in the list to you will keep uh, comparing and you will calculate the distance and you will update the distance if you find minimum distance right so that is what the one approach is so uh, so as you have seen we ha we already found mix and coding as one distance because this coding is here uh, so this is like 0 1 2 3 4 so index is 4 and index is 5 for max so 5 minus 4 is 1 so that is the minimum distance we found right I already showed you that so minimum distance is 1 and we just printed the map just to show you how the map is getting created so now let's take a look at the same problem we can solve using tree set so that is another approach we have to solve the same problem so what we will do is we will again iterate the array of words and we will populate the tree set we will create set 1 for coding and set 2 for max so whenever we find the word coding here we will just add that uh, index into the set right so 0 and 4 here and for max we will add 2 and 5 here so we have two sets now uh, one is with 0 4 and one is with 2 5 so let let me show you um, uh, let me show you while we are running so both things so uh, in this example now I actually created little bit another example so uh, before we can do that I just want to take the original example then I can show you the another example right so this is the original example we have the same one that we have discussed right so let's just make sure that this is the same example that we have taken from here so uh, the same words so i'll just take the same example so we can compare like uh, get exactly same example uh, so let me run this so so in the set one we get one and in the set two we get two right oh actually here also we have to find uh, use the same words right mix and coding so we are using here passing mix as our first word and coding as our second word coding as our second word right okay so as you can see the 2 and 5 we found for mix right because mix is appearing 2 at position 0 1 2 and 5 and for coding we are finding here 0 and 4 right so let us uh, check that so 0 and 4 we found for coding so this we first created two tree sets and then what we will do <coughs> is uh, we will uh, iterate this reset one by one and we will try comparing 
the uh, we will use tree set has two functions called as floor and high, higher so floor will give you uh, the value which is lesser value than this key 2 but which is the maximum so in this case if we find if we uh, give 2 then lesser value we will get 0 so we get 0 right from the set 2 and if we pass 2 then the higher value which is the minimum is 4 here right so we get 4 here so this is how we will get these values and keep those values comparing with this original value and keep calculating the distance for example here we get 0 and we will get 2 so 2 2 minus 0 is 2 so that is the distance and 2 4 minus 2 again 2 so 2 is our distance so far the minimum then next time it will pass 5 and it will compare the less value from lesser than uh, 5 the maximum value it finds 4 and any value which is bigger than 5 which is least so it doesn't find any more value right so it will just give us minus 1 and it will just calculate 5 and 4 basically 5 minus 4 so it calculates that distance as 1 right so that's how we will be using the tree set here so I will show you the quickly so here we are we are just iterating through the array of words and we are forming the set 1 if we find the word 1 we will add it into set 1 if we find word 2 we will add it into set 2 so I have shown you how the tree set already is looking right so it is finding correct indices then we will just define one variable called as distance and we will iterate through each value in set 1 and we will use floor method to find out the value which is lesser than that value but maxi maximum value which is lesser than that value right that is the floor and higher will give you uh, like a value which is least value which is more than the value right for example for example if we find uh, higher value like let's say uh, floor means if we pass 5 and uh, 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 least value will be 4 right less less than 5 the maximum value appears here is 4 so that is basically a floor and uh, higher means the value which is higher than 5 but least but there is no value higher than 5 so it will give us minus 1 in that case basically so as you can see here we just find the you know backward with using the floor and if backward distance we will calculate first we will check if set 2 um, has a floor value right if there is no floor values then we will not do anything basically so uh, um, it is possible that it cannot have a floor value right so let me just uh, show you how the floor value works here i'll just write down so i can hear only so i'll just remove later but i'll just show you so let's say we have uh, 0 2 and 4 right this is our set 1 so this is our set 1 let's say set 1 is this and set 2 is this right let's say uh, 1 3 and 5 5 right so let's say if you our we are trying to find out the uh, let's say we our key is 2 right 2 is our key so I'll just write down here key is 2 so when we do floor of 2 then it will give us the value which is lesser than 2 but maximum value so what is that in, two, in the set 2 it is 1 right so that's what it gives us and when we do higher function higher function on 2 then it gives us the value which is more than 2 but least amount of least value right so 3 so that's how the floor and higher works actually right so I have sh uh, shown you with this example how the floor and higher will work with key 2 right. So similarly if let's say you are finding with 4 key right if your key is 4 now let's say key is 4. So you are doing floor of floor of 4 right so floor of 4 will be 3 because that is the minimum value which is less than 4 right and when you do higher of higher of 4 then you will get 5 in the set 2 because that is the value which is higher than 4 in the set 2 right so it might have another values but it let's say 7 is there but it will give you 5 because that is the least amount of value which is higher than 4 
if there is no value it will give you null right so that's what i wanted to mention with this example so i think it is clear enough how the floor and higher works so i'll just remove this from here so um, that's how we will keep calculating the using the floor and higher value and then we will keep calculating the distance by subtracting that with our original position right what uh, from the original set one and we will keep updating the minimum similarly we will keep updating minimum for the higher value also so that is our uh, second solution so let's just execute this so as you can see so, so position is two here and the backward will be zero with floor and forward will be four with floor right with higher sorry higher higher function so like that if you take five then the backward will be four with the floor function and forward there is no forward value which is means higher value than five so it will, in that case it will be minus one right so if we compare these distances it will get only a minimum distance as one right five minus four as one so that's what it has given us so both approaches are working correctly so um, i think i have discussed in details about both the approaches so uh, i will check in this code into my github account you take it from there you know change the values and you know uh, try to understand how the floor and higher works for the reset and how the hash map solution works so as i said earlier you know i often create lead code java solution videos as well as uh, you know java j2 related interview uh, questions i have created a playlist for binary search tree dfs bfs solutions as well as lot of lead code problem solutions are already there into my uh, channel so please check them out and subscribe to the channel please uh, uh, subscription really helps so please subscribe thanks for watching the video